So this is where we're going to start from. Side 3, the very beginning. Again, if you need one, there are loads and loads of motorcycle taxis here to nip you around the back streets up here. And big Harleys too, like that one. Now this is the main reason why you use a motorbike taxi, is for short trips on the back soys. So exactly where we're going now, you'll need a motorbike if you've got a bit of a walk or you don't like walking. If you're Thai, you'll hate walking. <laughs> Sorry Thai people. Well, they really do, they hate walking. And you'll see like everywhere else, there's food everywhere. Food, 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 and a bit more food as well if you want it. But it's great, it's really good. You can buy fruit off this guy here, probably 20 baht. Many times only 10 baht, okay, but the prices do go up and down a little bit. Just in case you're wondering, that place there, that nice building, that's the Chinese Embassy. So if you're ever looking for that, Soy 3 is where the Chinese Embassy is. So there's a little bit of street food, only a tiny little bit. But you see straight away the atmosphere changes. It's very, very local. Um, and it's really good too. You'll meet lots of friendly people down here. Sometimes they don't look very friendly like her, but they are actually quite friendly. They do smile. This thing about the land of smiles, by the way, is not true. Sometimes they don't smile because they're shy, and sometimes they're just miserable. Oh shit. Sorry, nearly fell off this paper. <laughs> That's one one hazard about filming. Okay, be careful, even when you're just walking, because the pavements are really bad. They're broken everywhere, and they're very uneven. Now, local business. This little place here, you can't really see it, but it's a barber shop, and. It's a traditional Thai barber shop, and they're great. It's like going back 20 years in England. You get a haircut and a shave for around about 80 to 100 baht. Fantastic, well worth going to. I'll make sure I don't kill myself. There you go, look. You can have a look in there. Very traditional, very nice. Okay, the lunch time, we've got fresh coconuts, probably 20 or 30 baht, ice cream, somebody cup. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> so you don't want to be famous now. You can buy food like this, like chicken and catfish, or barbecue, some can. This is my home here, uh, yeah, this is where I live, and this is where my son goes to school. So any of you thinking about, I want to settle down in Thailand, what are schools like, what's this like? Well, this is my son's nursery school here, which is last year, he's been here for like five years, since he was born, basically. But this is his school. school are really really nice and so so friendly okay back on to soy 3 again there's so many places to eat down here you really are spoiled for choice it's fantastic you get noodles that's a you guy um, you get pork chicken barbecue chicken Get your nails done if you want to, get your hair cut, the dentist, the 7 Elevens everywhere. You 
there's lots of little cafes and this is one place that you really need to come to if you come here okay this little crossroads here it's a real little food hub and this place here they sell Kalman Guy which is chicken and rice and their Kalman Guy is about the best I've ever had anywhere it's really really good so you gotta come here I will be in about 20 minutes because I'm on break there we are more stuff down here so if you want cold drinks if you want coffee anything you want get down here it's a great little hub and this is why you should come and stay here this is why you should get off the main tourist beaten tracks where you pay a bloody fortune but here look 40 baht for a meal and they always say if you're going to go and eat somewhere make sure it's full of locals 40 baht of low calls. I can't say any more than that. I rest my case, Your Honour. <laughs> now that's it. You know, there's, there's no need to try and like convince people. Just come here. All the people from the local offices and office blocks around here, they all come here to eat. They're not going into the shopping malls, which are expensive. They're coming here much cheaper and the food is tastier and better okay so it's really simple it's almost like a no-brainer you know I don't understand why uh, foreigners just head to say Khao San Road or even worse Nana it's just not Thailand you're not seeing the real Thailand it's a bit of a cliche I know but this is Thailand, this is why you should come here, okay? It's just a cool place. And it's so much more natural. Best place to be. Come on, guy, coming back in a minute. Seriously, 7-Elevens are a great convenience shop for almost anything. See what I mean about holes in the floor? Be careful, you don't want to fall down there. But here, again, great food. You also got to look around because you get hang yourself here. Now, this is a nice little hotel. It's called uh, this hotel. It's in the heart of Soy 3. You've got lots of local restaurants and shops and massage places like real massage places around here and look at this this is what you see all the time little kids little families on the motorbikes it's what thailand is about just don't kill yourself on that wire here we go so what? Do you know one of the things you'll really need when you come anywhere? Pharmacy. Pharmacies are really neglected by many, many people. But in Thailand, they've got loads, loads of pharmacies like that one. And they, in this one in particular, they speak really good English. And the prices are very, very affordable and you get good quality medication from there so yeah use a local pharmacist if you're feeling a bit sick which you probably will do because of the heat and eating unusual food you'll need it all right now lunch time for me now i'm going for some cow mangai i'll show you what that looks like again in a minute so this is ratchet up soy sam and the reasons why 
you should go local in Thailand or Lao or anywhere that you go to. Same old story, come anywhere in Thailand and you'll see a woman like this one making some tam, really nice, spicy, fresh, great stuff, but don't have it too spicy and maybe avoid the bara which is like fermented fish, I don't like that, it stinks. But this is a great little place to eat here. They do chicken and some tam. Really good stuff. Uh, they also do fish and pork. It's really nice and very, very affordable for everybody. Good stuff. You see again, very busy down here. Best time to come here. They're open in the evening and lunch times too. More and more places are opening up every single day. Uh, there's something new happening around here. There's a little place here where they do uh, fresh homemade salads. They're really good, uh, very uh, organic and natural. And a couple of little bars down here if you fancy a beer. Uh, lots of things happening around here. See, everyone, see I said about smiles, that's what people are like, they are all out of smiles, usually in Thailand, yeah. not in Bangkok so much, but in Thailand for sure, so down here, this, I've lived here for more than seven, eight years now, it's changed a lot, for the better, and there's a lot more uh, interesting places, but one again, travel tip, walking, being a pedestrian in Thailand, it's not easy. There are, in many cases, no sidewalks. Be careful, you know, if you're walking along with your wife or your girlfriend or whoever, don't walk side by side. Not only will you get run over, you know, if there's some dodgy people around, they'll probably snatch your bag. So that's what you've got to be careful of. But be aware of the traffic around you. And don't just walk in the middle of the road. I am always try to be very, very cautious when I'm walking. And touch wood, I've been okay so far. I had to say that, I'm very suspicious, uh, superstitious. So we've got a nice massage place here. We get more places to eat here. Whether they Thai food, Japanese food, Korean food, even steak. There's you can get anything more or less down here. Thinking pizza. Yeah, that's one thing you can't really get here is uh, pizza. You used to be able to, but it's closed down now. 